Make sure it's up to date. The game's definitely up to date. I because I just opened it up again. Um, like it would have it would have hit me with an update, you know. So the game, I believe the game is up to date for sure. I think I think he had more money last time. I think I sold him this and this, and he still had money left. I, I think I rolled a, a, a poorer shopkeeper this time. Doesn't really matter, but I think that happened. Maybe the shop will be different, and we can get a weapon this time. Um, and maybe, may I doubt it, but maybe the Hermit's Hut is somewhere else. So, well, we'll get the quest for the Hermit's Hut, but I'm not walking all the way back over there again. But, yeah, okay, there's, there is a new weapon. There is a new weapon. And there's not the good helmet this time, Rip. We gotta, we gotta buy this one. But we'll buy this. Again, it's, it's, it's a small change in damage, but I prefer the stats on it quite a lot. The extra bleed chance, the extra stun, you know, the armor damage and stuff. It's just better, so... That's worth 500 bucks in my opinion. And we'll, we will wield this weapon for a long time. Like until we get to Bryn. So, um, let's, let's go, let's go back to, to Osbrook. Rip, 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 rip. And again, I'll check. Maybe the Hermit's Hut has changed, but I, I really assume that happens. Um, like the Hermit, I paid him 50 bucks for a rumor. I'm so sad. Um, and it was sacred ruins. Jeez. But maybe, uh, maybe the Hermit's Hut is somewhere else. But I really think that happens at the, uh, the start of a character. That's, I think, the same spot it was before. Yeah, so, and there's a tier four. There is a tier four down there. But I don't necessarily want to do that. I want to, I think we're just going to go back and kill some undead. Maybe after, after we, like, when we're moving on to tier twos, maybe we'll, uh, we'll farm out, um, we'll go to that tier four and try to, try to pick up, like, a couple chests or something, you know? Just creep in and loot something from the edges. Eight bucks for that? No. Maybe the maybe the the carpenter needs to buy it. The carpenter has to repair it, so maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, and I meant to get a, an enchantment scroll. I want to enchant my weapon. Yeah, he paid like double. Still only fourteen. I thought I would get a little more, but still. Better than what it was. And we're hungry. Alright, so we're gonna enchant our weapon and let's go kill some let's go kill some skeletons. It's skeleton slaughter in time. He charged me so much. Ooh, I think that we got that exact same enchant last time. Frost damage. That's really good. No, I think we got frost damage on our next weapon, the the war pick, but it's still great. That's a that's a great enchant. Um, any flat damage enchant goes really hard, so I'm very happy with that. Um, so the undead should die. The undead should be dead. They they will be dead dead again. They will go from undead to re dead very quickly. This mace is good. We have nice jewelry on. Overall, pretty happy with it. Plus, frosty buff is great. Yeah, it won't it won't proc too often, but it is really good. It's especially for like a mace build where you're dazing them and stuff, where they're gonna already have like the the positive fumble or yeah, positive fumble, negative accuracy. It'll it'll double down with that, you know. Stolen grimoire, grim roar. This is this is skeleton, right? This is a necromancer, I think. I don't think this the stolen grimoires are uh are are vampire. So I think we're going straight in on some skellies. I think it might actually be skelly time, chat. It's skeleton hours. No, but I, I think it is. I think it's finally skeleton time. We've been waiting a while for it, and I think it's finally happening. Isn't it vamp is it? Is it? I thought I thought I thought the, the grimoire was was skelly, but I could be wrong. I could, I could literally be wrong. I'm really bad at identifying um, the different dungeons. I'm there's, there's a way to know, but I've never actually like engaged with it, so I don't know. I'm just like I don't know at all. Okay, over and down, over and down we go. They both have room, uh, boom based contracts. Boom based contracts? Hmm. I don't know what you mean by that. Bo oh, book-based. Book, book, book. That makes sense. I was like, boom-based contract. So I was like, what? Sounds like like the uh, like a, a way to describe some good music. Like some nice house music or something. Yeah, I, was, I went to the club the other day. What were they playing? I don't know, man. It was some, some boom-based contracts, though. Let me tell you. If someone told me that, I'd be like, yo, those jams must have been sick. I would, I would buy into the boom-based contracts. Add me overhaul in real life. Let's go. Oh, 
a little money. I was hoping for a little more than that, but that's all right. I'll take 20 bucks. Did you say boom? And I was like, crap, I missed dive to get. Yeah. I know you're on mobile, though. I know you're on mobile. And even on keyboard, I, I mistype a lot. I am I am not a good typer. Like, I'm, I'm fast or whatever. I'm not, like, super fast, but I'm, like, decently fast. But I don't really worry about being too accurate. If, they, if I throw a J in when I'm supposed to hit a K, I'm like, whatever. You, you, you'll get the message. You'll understand what I'm typing. All right. Well, we found a ghoul. But it's not one in the dungeon. It's not a ghoul that anyone cares about. Okay, skelly or vampire? Skelly, let's go. It is a skeleton dungeon. So we can we can, we can can see the new enemies, hopefully. Look like I'm on a tablet, it didn't work. But no, I'm on phone. Lol, let's go. Like, sorry, I'm really busy here, folks. I've just gotta, I've just gotta finish up what I'm doing, and you're out just typing in chat. Uh, Lime told me uh, to try a bow build. He says it's gotten better. I guess that's what I'm gonna do when I get on eventually. Yeah. Um, have you, have you, have you tried a bow build, uh, Lazy, since since the uh, armored combat update? It's way better, dude. Um, they made they made hybrid bow builds go really hard, and they made pure bow builds go really hard too. Pure bow is, of course, like tougher because you, you you know you're just out of melee or whatever. You have to like when they get up on you, you're kind of out of luck. But but they they made some really nice improvements to the range skill tree. So like 30 seconds and died instantly. Oh okay. Also, I had to fight that rat for way too long. That rat fight took like 20 minutes. I'll give it another go. Yeah. Um, it's it's definitely really good. Dexterity is so good. Dexterity goes so hard for hybrid builds. Uh, just I don't know. This the, the tree seems better. I think Akmal's done a pure ranged build relatively recently he might have some better intel on it than i because i say this like every time but i always do hybrid ranged builds i never do pure ranged i always hybridize normally with either daggers or spears early bow is full hard early full bow is hard yeah yeah it'd be tough just because like again what are you going to do when they get when they get up on you in melee all right Yo, I think Velmir or Derwin on the range build? I don't know. I'm sure they would both work. I don't know, though. I don't know what Lazy's going to do. But I think I had a dream last night that, uh, that I was streaming Stone Shard. I think I, I think I dreamed Stone Shard. Yorgrim, Yorgrim. Oh, yes, there you go. The Yorgrim meta. Late game full bow is busted. Yes. I mean, a lot of stuff is busted late game, though. But, yeah, just for the, the big weapon damage, just one-shotting stuff with Yorgrim. Blowing him up, moving on to the next target with his passive activated. When you can one-shot enemies, Yorgrim's passive is insane. Like, it's unbelievable. Doing full Electro build in early game is so hard. That's kind of true for... Ooh, you were, you were not kidding. The Necro looks way cooler. And what did he just do? What did he just do? He used this. Steel Essence. Steals 6% health and energy from an enemy and transferring to the caster. Activates bonus magic power and negative damage taking. Using spells replenishes 9%... A health for 9% of the energy spent. That's insane. That's so cool. And he has he has double lunge. He has a dagger skill. Okay. And then the new curse. This is the new curse. That's terrifying. And desecration. Um, burns your energy for the amount of damage. And it gives the caster their energy back. Yo, this their, their skills look cool. Their skills seem really fun. Good luck with no chalice. Ah, it's just, it's just tier one. We'll be fine. What is what is this doing to me? How do I lower the stacks? Okay, I reduce stacks by two just by attacking. So I should I should be able to get the stacks pretty low. Just 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 attacking him. Yo, he he kind of smacked with his dagger ability and stuff too. Like that was that was a tougher fight. That was actually I mean again I know we just went through it like easily, but. It was, it was a tier one necromancer. You know, I've killed like a trillion of them. Easy clap, thank you. That was actually tougher though. That was an actual change. Also, that loot is kind of goaded. Rondell and then double double uh, pelt. Ooh, and a blue dagger. Not a dagger, that's an amulet, which is better than a dagger in my case. That's really good. Um, hopefully this is cursed with like life drink, you know, of course, but if it just has some good enchants, that'll be good enough for me. And you know, maybe we can go for fortitude on this build. I almost never cap fortitude. I value it like pretty lowly. So maybe, maybe we'll go, well, if this is good, maybe we'll focus on fortitude a little bit. Try and get up to 50. Makes an high tier is going to be rough. Yeah, yeah. 
the mage the mage is in high tiers the the necromancer is going to be really really scary i'm going to fight multiple enemies makes casting curse yeah yeah the having and there's like two types of curses or whatever so having having both of them on you is going to suck too the curse of like decay and the other one i don't know what it's called curse of weakness maybe but i'm really glad i'm really glad they they they're updating the uh the the skellies they're like more potent they're a little scarier now a little um a little uh, more engaging to fight i'm okay with that that's all good I am, I am, you know, a lot of people are like never nerf the player in a solo game. I am okay with nerfing the player and stuff like that. Buffing the enemies to make it harder. If it makes the game more engaging, I think that's what matters. Um, you know. So I am, I am down for the buffs to the, oh, there's a ghoul. It's our first ghoul. Um, okay, the rat's actually running away. Okay, they both died at the same turn. I was a little scared about the rat bleeding out and the ghoul chasing and eating it. Um, that was that was cool. That was a great fight. Like again, like never before in like hundreds of hours have I had to worry about a tier one skeleton dungeon. You just you just AFK your way through here. You actually mind like my brain empty, right click everything. Uh, like it's it's like the easiest area. So that was cool. Like the boss fight was new. I had to worry about that ghoul a little bit. It worked out really well, and I didn't do anything in particular, but it made me think and stuff. Very happy with that so far, or with the update so far. Really, really happy with it. I'm sure a day will come where I'm like, get these dang ghouls out of my dungeon, they suck. But for today, I'm enjoying them. For today, I'm loving them. Yeah, it's very fun. Yeah, it's, it seems like a great update. Hey, they, they they do good work with the updates, man. They they really put out good updates. I've, I've never had an update come out, and I've been uh, like disappointed in it. Literally never. I've not played every update, but... Every time I've came back to the game, I've been like, this game's in a better position than it was last time I played it. Um, they're, they're, I, I, I'm, I, I don't know. I think this game's going to do really well. It, when it finally gets released, I think it's going to be a great game. I'm just ready for rags to riches. How you doing, A9? Welcome, welcome on in, A9. And I agree. I would agree. Rags to riches needs to, uh, needs to show up. Stone Shard Game of the Year win? I mean, when it releases, maybe? <laughs> it's got it's to be a game first. It's still, it's still just a beta. It's got to be a full-fledged game before it starts winning awards. But maybe, you know, next year or two. I honestly, I've put my number on 2026. I've I've said, for me, my assumption is the game is coming out in 2026. But it's great to see you, A9. Hope you're well today. Hope you're well. Just doing some stretching. All right. But yeah, the uh, Rags to Riches is going to be so good. I, th I think they know that there's a lot of hype built up for rags to riches too, so I hope they're really, um, you know, ensuring that it's going to be great. But they, they, with a, like I was saying, they, they tend to, they tend to be great, you know. Thanks, I appreciate. That. I want to see how the new patch was or new patches. Let's go. Well, so I don't, I don't know if you saw much of that dungeon, but um, we, uh, we did do our first skeleton dungeon just now, and it was cool. It was actually more engaging. It was, it was a, a noticeable change. The boss fight was scarier. Um, and the ghoul in the dungeon was interesting, so it was good. That was small dungeon. Yeah, sadly it was not like a big two floor or anything. It's just RNG, you know. But um, we got we got a rather small um, skeleton dungeon, and there are wolves chasing me. Hopefully we can just leave. I, I assume we're free. Yeah, I think they got bored. They're not even chasing me anymore. I had two ma massive two floor. Oh, Aqual, I'm jealous. Let me have the giant dungeon, man. Let me let me see all the skellies. But we'll see more soon. We're, we're gonna, you know, get to, to more of them, of course. It's not like that's all the skeletons. We'll see you today. But I definitely want to see some more. But that was good loot. That was great loot. Maybe you were maybe you were right. Guess that'd be why I got the drip, yeah. But maybe you were right, Akmal. Because I'm pretty happy with this loot. I would describe this as above average. Three jewels, a blue necklace, um, two pelts. So maybe they did buff the loot a little. I still think Rags will be a game changer. Contract changes. Okay, everyone will turn this into even more into a roguelite. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think everyone is in the, in the same boat. Where like Rags to Riches is probably the most hyped and biggest update they've uh, they've they've had yet. I think I think it's got the most hype behind it for sure. Come out good for such a small dungeon. Yeah, like honestly, for for like five rooms, this is great loot. Normally, like sometimes you leave a tier one dungeon with like half an inventory of loot. Like, literally, that's just how it be. Sometimes you're like, there was nothing to pick up. 
so. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe, maybe they're buffed. I would, I would love some extra loot, you know? It's not like we, we necessarily needed it. We, it's not like, you know, not like everyone was super poor all the time. But I'll take, I'll take extra money. I will not turn it down. And again, that was, that was great. Like, that was actually good stuff. And I'm just looking to see if there were any nice upgrades, you know? Nothing there, though. Okay, Chad, does anyone remember how much the heavy war pick cost when we bought it before? Was it like, was it like three grand? I think like 2,800? I don't know. Maybe it was like 3,800. What am I, I'm not trying to repair. What am I doing? Why did I come to this? Oh, to sell them the Rondell. I knew there was a reason. It cost money. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm just, I'm already, I'm already like kind of wealthy enough to, to try to buy it. I know we're not like quite there, but we're a little, a little there. We're getting closer. So I may, I may wish to uh, begin, begin saving up for it soon. And we will ID the um, amulet over the, the potion. We'll ID the potion later. I know you are going for 4,500 last time. Yeah, I just don't. I don't remember what the what the the context of that was. I don't know what if I needed to like do the bailiff and stuff still. Energy and energy resto, sure. Why not? Why not? We're losing the health resto. But that's fine. Or the healing efficiency. Um, again, I, I maybe we'll try fortitude on this build. I almost never do. So why not? Why not? Why not try to cap fortitude and see if I find it effective. Um, and, and does it affect the damage you take from bleed or just the amount of time at which you're bleeding? Affects the duration of negative effects and the damage over time. Yeah, okay, so it, no, it also lowers the damage and the damage over time taken from bleeding, poisoning, burning, and acid bath. So, so yeah, Fortitude's probably actually pretty good. And where's my other 15% coming from? Oh, this cloak has five, but where's, oh, 10 from the helmet maybe? No? Why do I have 10% Fortitude? Do you just get 10% fortitude or something? Is it optimism? Optimism gives fortitude. Okay. So we should only be at 20. You get fortitude from willpower? Yes, you, you do get fortitude from willpower. Um, every every fifth point in willpower gives a little bit of fortitude. I um, mean, I'll buy some meds here. I don't really need the meds right now, but I can't sell him stuff. So we'll buy meds in trade for, uh, for selling him stuff. And we'll use the meds eventually. But yeah, so you, you could stack up your fortitude via willpower. I actually really like the, the, the bonuses you get from willpower. The pain res and fortitude, I really like those a lot. Um, I've always wanted to do a melee build that takes willpower, but it just it doesn't seem worth it. That seems like a like too much of a sacrifice. It doesn't seem good, so. I don't do it, but I I've, I've always wanted to. Because like, you know, 10, 10 points in, in willpower? Is, is like, you know, you'll end up with 15 fortitude, 15 pain res. That's pretty good, but you're sacrificing like a lot to get it, so I don't know. Willpower buff after the mass, last patch made it really good. Willpower war cry build, I've, I've thought about that as well. Did they buff willpower last patch? I didn't know that. What, what did they do? What did it do before? I thought it did exactly this before. Maybe it was like 5%. They ruined Warcry, in my opinion. Why? Why do you Why do you say that? Uh, I've, uh, not Akma. Excuse me, lazy. Why? It's It's good, right? I still like it. Do you not like the confusion? They nerfed it, but it's It's still good, right? Like it's still It's still a good like I still value it. The chance it hits is so low. Oh, okay. So just just the the percent chance to to confuse them or whatever. Would it be before? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe it was a hundred percent before. It was like 80%. It's still like 80%. 85% confused chance. Oh, do you just mean like after after the uh like after their control res or whatever comes into effect, maybe? Uh that's not the right button. Let me do this one. There we go. Uh really what it said, like 35 for me. Oh no, yeah, no, it's still it's like 85, dude. It's 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 85 for sure. Yeah, it's 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 been 85 the whole time. CDR and Skullcrusher was 1.0, 1 before it's 1.5. Oh, okay, that is a big buff. If they went from 1% to 1.5, that's a big buff. Um, so yeah, they, did, they didn't kill Warcry. It's still good. I, thought was, I, was, I was confused. I was like, what? I thought Warcry was fine. It turns out it is. We have this sword, dude. This sword's worth so much money. But yeah, so. You get 1% more accuracy Warcry per... You get 1% more accuracy on Warcry, Warcry per point. Oh, okay, that's really good. Or yesterday, I said 35%. It'd be like that sometimes, man. It'd be like that. I I know how it is. 
and I I'll go ahead. I'll buy the armor. I won't I won't I won't buy this one, but I'll buy these two. We'll buy these two. Ah, eh, maybe I will buy this one. I don't know. Why not? Why not? Sure. Sure. I'll allow it. We'll just sell the uh, the kid my, my my chest piece here so we can buy this one. I'm confused now a little. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. It'd be like that. All right, so those, those are some good upgrades. Um, we're, we're really good on defense now. I got to Warcry on a silly wisdom focus build a long time ago when it Warcry would pull entire floors to you. Does it not do that anymore? Did they did they make the scream less audible? I still thought that was part of it. I still thought you were you were calling over the whole world when you cried out. Especially with the, the aggro changes not that long ago. I, I definitely assumed it was still the same. So that's good to know. Potion of Life Drain is good to have. That's great. Um, so we're going to go back and do tier 1s still. <clears throat> Did you do a dungeon already? Yes, we, we've done two dungeons. The, the, the very first human dungeon and one skelly dungeon. We did a skelly dungeon. Oh, and I didn't die. I did not die to an undead. You cannot unfollow me. I survived the undead brigands. So sad, but it doesn't do the psychic damage anymore. Oh, okay. How was the skelly dungeon? It was really cool, dude. Um, there were, the boss was more engaging, and we found a ghoul, and having to fight the ghoul was engaging as well. I would I would describe it as a uh, I stay followed my siren. Let's go. But I would describe it. Oh, my siren. Yeah, I was like my siren. I was like whatever. I'll let that go. Uh -huh. I was like I don't, it's not really what I would describe myself as, but sure. Um. Yeah, it was it was better. I would I would definitely describe it as an upgrade. I am happier with the uh, the new dungeons than the old ones. Bolt of cloth. I want to check if it's stolen. I want to make sure the guard's not right next to me. Still stolen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bottle of oil. Bear fat. Manchair fortified. Okay, all the other stuff should be free. Definitely upgrade. Yeah, yeah. It seems it seems way way more fun. Way more fun. I'm gonna drag this over here. There we go. Three bolts of cloth will be a lot of money. I a guy one time in a dagger. Um, what is the name of the animal with many spines and that rolls into a ball? Oh, the hedgehog. The the hedgehog, yes, yes, the hedgehogs will fight you apparently. Um, you can get the hedgehogs to uh, fight you in combat. I have seen that one before. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh no, a customer and I'm not even open. What? Really? That's weird, Akmo. I mean, I guess I don't know. They just thought you were open already. Stuff like that happens. At first, I was like, what? But I don't know. That actually sounds pretty normal. Bastard door right in front of it was me, sort of massive ghoul boy. I think they nerfed the ghouls. I think they immediately nerfed them. Um, Akmal said that they made it so that ghouls will no longer eat corpses unless they've taken damage. So you you should hopefully not come across giant pre-buffed ghouls. You should hopefully not come across them. But I believe they got they got nerfed down like straight away. They were they were a little too powerful. Yep, it's in news and discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they should be a little a little weaker, hopefully. Drag that over. This is a fine inventory. We don't need that, actually. I don't know why I've been carrying that the whole time. Okay, and we'll skedaddle doodle do. Nah, we should sleep. I should have I should have slept before I took the quest, but we should sleep. We should definitely sleep. Rent a room. Okay. And again, the um the amulet has energy and energy resto on it. So that should actually help. That should be like, you know, not the biggest change, but maybe maybe a noticeable change. Does it go from five to four? Yeah, it should, that should be noticeable. Again, not huge, but noticeable. Mm, I won't eat the ham. We'll go eat pancakes. How about that? We've uh, we've um, we haven't had pancakes in quite a long time. We could eat some pancakes. Look at that. They don't come with a plate anymore, though. I feel like they used to be on a plate. They changed the drumstick as well. It's yellowy now. It was it was more like dark brown. It's a it's a bright like orange now. Um, I'll take some lentil soup. I don't know why. I just will. Let me eat the pancakes. The delicious pancakes that are not evil. They've returned to the good side. I'm going to play now. Good luck with the run. Have fun. Cheers, brother in chat. Thank you for being here, Lazy. Thanks for hanging out today, Lazy. And good luck. Good luck playing on your own. Hope you have a good time. Sorry, I keep stretching so the voice is insano. But good luck. Thank you for sticking around this morning. Okay. Uh, dungeon is up here. And again, the hunger's all good. Thirst is whatever. We, we should have drank in town, but it doesn't really matter. 
And they, we don't have the backpack, but I didn't want to walk back all the way for it, so. No backpack meta. That's just the way it is. We're not, we had more EXP before the save. Before we, uh, before we crashed. The wandering gave us more EXP than the dungeon. Oh, it's a different now. Customer won't help. Guess I should unlock door. Yes, alrighty. Alrighty, I'll see you, Radock Ball. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'm sure you'll be in and out throughout the day. I will see you upon your return. And I mean, if you're not, that's fine, too. Uh, I guess I can't really say. I'm sure you'll be in and out. Okay, this guy should die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm leaving the, the peasant flails behind. We're beyond the point of picking up the, the basic weapons. We're, we're a high level, level three character. We need not basic weaponry. Do I have the mace skills unlocked yet? Mm, is it one more point? No, it's a few more points. Mm -hmm -hmm. So we need a. Uh, it's two more for that one. So we need. We have one free point. Imagine just an Akmal greets his customers with a hearty stone shard salutation. Yes, yes, yes. That would be great. But just so I don't know what I'm gonna put my points into. Maybe armored combat. Um. I don't know what we put them into last time. Did we have survival points taken last time? I think so. I think we had this and this, probably. But I don't think we took those early. I don't know. I don't know what we took. We could we could take um seize the initiative just for the accuracy and fumble. Just to make us really, really steady. Maybe, maybe. I don't, I don't necessarily want to dip through the Warfare Tree that much, though. Like, especially not this line. I don't want Armor Crusher. I would rather have either of those, so. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we did last time. So, we'll probably just end up taking Armored Combat. If, if I don't know what to do, Armored Combat's probably a good choice. And I'll take Hard Target. It's a really great passive. I, I think it's lovely for fighting uh, Archers. And archers do a fair bit of damage. And then, I've, I've said this before, I think that negative 10% armor penetration goes really hard. Um, you can, you, the fact that you can reduce the enemy's armor penetration, I think, is, is relatively undervalued. Um, I, I don't think many people look at that and consider that to be a big deal. But I think it's a pretty big deal. Because uh, they, I, I think most enemies don't have that much armor pen, but they have some. Like, the weapon here has 15% like attached to it. So, getting around there, I, I, I passed by the dungeon somehow. But, ooh, and there's, like, so many points of interest. Eh, we'll, we'll get them later. No, no, I'll get them now. I will go get them right now. Again, I don't want to leave all the question marks everywhere. But, um, the the fact that the enemies have a little bit of armor pin, but not a huge amount, makes that negative 10% that you can get, I think, pretty valuable. Well, so I was trying to save the AoE till they were both there, but I killed them too quickly, so he died before before I could AoE them. Okay, down and over, and then we'll go straight up from there. Have you found any maps that you start? You were given one when you start the game. Um, so I, I've explored most of the area the map revealed, but Varian gives you one initially. So this stuff right here is is where the map is. Um, and they're really pretty looking. I, I think the, the the maps looked lovely. And I think I could probably buy. I could have bought one from like the Elder in Manshire or something like that. Maybe the Governor, or the the old Librarian guy. But I think they're relatively easy to come across. Uh, so, see, I love the map integration. It's really good. Also, I'm like, I was stuck on small movement. Like, yeah, I, it, the clicking is weird. I think there's combat on this this tile. Um, but I love what they did with the maps. Um, the initial the paper maps from forever ago sucked. These are amazing. These are lovely, lovely. Very, very happy with them. I, I can't. The, the clicking is like so laggy. There must be like a lot of combat on this tile. Be very cool when they eventually expand the map. Yeah, it'll it'll be neat. It'll be really cool. I, I think that'll be like a great day, especially like day one. You know, we don't know what the map looks like, and then you get a paper map, and you get to see. It's like, whoa, there's mountains or something like that. You know, I think it'll be great. You better have old paper maps than nothing. That's true, but they sucked. They still sucked. I would still describe them as rather bad. Golden. I don't care why they won't make more maps instead of just one big one. I I mean. They might make more maps. I don't. I don't think they've like guaranteed that they're not going to. Maybe in the future. Wolves are chasing me. That's annoying. It's probably gonna chase me to the next style. It's it's pretty close. Um, I think if it was RNG smiting me or what? Hmm. I bought one from the Elder in Manchester. Probably this map unlocked the same area Osbrook map did. What do you mean the the same area? 
Like, it, it showed this stuff around Osbrook? And I'll, I guess I'll go for these points of interest, too. I don't know. I don't know. How you doing, Icy Curves? I Welcome on in. Welcome on in. I appreciate that. The way old map systems for streaming bad for my short-term memory. Yeah, the old map system suck. Show me the same thing. That seems like a bug. I'm assuming that was just a bug. That seems like a bug for sure. I need to go two tiles east, then two tiles, then two tiles east. I need to go east two tiles, then south three tiles, and find the dungeon tile. Yeah, it was a mess back then. And if I remember correctly, you used to not be visible on the map either. Like, like you, you, like how you can see yourself here. This wasn't part of the game back then. You, you just the you just opened the map and you were like, I think I'm here, so I think I need to go here. and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.